Hello guys, uh, my name is uh, Ahmed Hali for the Unscripted Talks uh, here in Dab uh, Radio. Now, there is this issue of uh, schools uh, burning uh, whenever it uh, reaches uh, third term. Each and every year, third term has uh, been uh, associated with uh, uh, lots of uh, high schools burning, whether it's uh, boys' school, whether it's girls' school, whether they are boarding schools or day schools but uh, all i can say there is more than it meets the eye there is this theory that uh, it might be associated with the cult with the devil's work but uh, ultimately no the the trend has been there for so many years yeah just like uh, uh, when it comes to december when people are traveling from major cities to the uh, rural areas uh, that will be associated with so many road accidents but it's not like it's the devil's work no it's just normal because um, there are so many uh, you know people traveling and traffics around so that uh, actually justifies the reason as to why more accidents are there now when it comes to about schools burning there is more than it meets the eye because um, how comes it's only third term that these uh, things happen? Haven't somebody sit down and try to question? Has there been no investigation? Because most of the time, we just be told, you know, power failure. This power failure only waits until it's third term for it to happen. Now, if you have grievances, why don't you just state clearly as students why don't you just state clearly that you have issues uh, with the way the administration maybe is handling their things why don't you just say maybe there are problems that you wish are fixed there are those who will listen to you we have proper channels of administering justice and also delivering complaints. So there is no clear justification for burning schools whenever it reaches third term because it is so immense and now a conversation has to be reeled towards that direction because most of the people are so quiet about this. You know, it takes a lot of resources to build uh, these schools. Remember, education is the equalizer between uh, the rich, uh, the middle class, and the poor. It is the equalizer that bridges these gaps uh, between those who have, uh, between their haves and their have nots. Uh, yeah. So ultimately, there always has to be a solution to this. We cannot be losing, uh, you know, wealth of an estimated value each and every uh, third term when it comes to schools. I mean, why don't we see this happening to, you know, primary schools? Why is it only high schools whenever it reaches uh, third term? Why hasn't somebody sat down and given a clear instinct or, or clear guidance on what really happens? So the government uh, needs to come up with uh, proper installations uh, to curb uh, these uh, fires. Because ultimately, I think that uh, somebody is really behind them. If 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 not um, some of the rogue teachers are trying to collude with the students in these then we'll have to blame partially some of the students who are actually making it a norm every third term to make sure that uh, schools are banned because whenever they hear or they get uh, news or wind of any other school being burned then they take that towards their specific school or they take it towards other school so that it will be seen like oh you know eti mashetani wa yanaingia ikifika mula watatu kwa shuleni asa ni wana mashule anaweza kuungua no i know maybe there are some coincidences whereby there might be power failure but uh, ultimately someone has to be held accountable 
there is no way that uh, just a dormitory could just burn. You understand that? So at the end of the day, we have our sane minds. We can come together, do our investigations. You cannot be, uh, you know, it cannot be that tough for you to investigate um, uh, students. You mean to say that those students are so witty than you, who is their head teacher, than you, who is their teacher, than you, who is the policeman? You want to tell me these investigations don't get to the conclusion of the matter and get to realize that what really happened? Because it is easier to tell whether fire has been occasioned using electricity or has been occasioned using um, maybe somebody has just done it literally using you know matchbox or kind of uh, something of, of the sort yeah so at the end of the day we really have to make sure that um, we keep safe uh parents wherever schools are taking your children always counsel these kids because we know there are a lot of mental illnesses there are those parents who dump their children like uh, ballast you see the way ballast is is carried in a lorry and um you know being uh, poured somewhere being dropped somewhere that is how some parents have done to their kids you know you've taken your kids as ballast or a stone that has been thrown somewhere and it will be there for a very long time instead of even checking up on them getting to know so people are going under stress and these are some of the issues that make these students um, go for such radical measures because when the school is burned they'll go back home because for them they feel like being at home at least it's much better they'll get to that uh, comfy life even not though a hundred percent but at least more than because they say according to them they really do suffer so establish institutions of counseling in these schools uh, talk to these students make sure that you really know what's actually going in their minds get to know actually what is their problem okay my name is Ahmed Hali for the Unscripted Talks. My name is Ahmed Hali for the Unscripted Talks here in Dub Radio. If you love content of this nature and uh, you are watching from YouTube, kindly subscribe, press the notification button so anytime that we are live, you'll be the very first person to be notified or any other time that we upload our content. If you are watching from Facebook, kindly follow our page so that uh, anytime you also upload our content, you'll also get a notification and you'll be able to follow our updates. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuhu. Peace out. Kwa Timba Kali za Africa, Dab Radio, Nyumpangu Mzima.